So this is part five of our mini do-it-yourself CNC machine out of stepper motor or, uh, stepper motors from hard drives and from CD-ROMs. And what we're going to do on this video is we're just stripping down this uh, floppy drive because uh, all we're do all we really need here is the uh, board, and uh, we don't need the, the motor or all this this metal around it. All we're really interested in is maybe uh, we could pop the stepper out and then. We have to take a sensor out of here, but so I've taken out the screws already and uh, taken the pancake motor. Pretty interesting. We might do another video on this later, but we don't need it for now. Um, what else? Took the screws off of this, and what you got to do is we need to get to this sensor down here. And by the way, unplug it before you do any of this stuff. You need to get to this sensor because what it does is it's a little light uh, sensor that gets tripped by this little piece of plastic every time it goes by it, every time it goes to the back and without it, it doesn't know where it is and it won't work properly so uh, we don't actually need this part or this little piece of plastic, all it is is a piece of plastic that tells it when to stop so we can put our own little tab on something and tell this when to stop but we can take these out of uh, it's just for the uh, magnetic reader head thing, so we don't really need them, and that's not going to be connected. And um, we also need, we don't need the stepper from here. What we're going to use is the stepper from a CD-ROM, but we'll just take it off for now until we solder it. So if we unscrew this sensor, we need to keep this sensor as the thing. But we also need to extend how long this wire is. So, actually, we could pop it out for now. That's good. There we go. So, what, what we're going to be left with is just this board, and uh, it's not as bulky. Right, so I'm gonna unsolder this later, and then solder it onto our new uh, maybe some leads, maybe straight from the board here onto our new stepper motor that we're gonna get right now from our CD-ROM. So let's open up the CD-ROM here. And took the screws off that, and you'll see what I'm talking about with the uh, stepper motor in here is a bit bigger. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get these open sometimes, but just give it a be a little damaging, some violence, as I heard another YouTube user say. But here, here's the mechanism we need: is this uh, sled here? And you'll see it's a much longer travel for the same stepper motor, and it's going to travel that far there. So uh, I'm just going to tear these tear this apart. And you'll get to see the inside of the CD-ROM without all of this. We don't need the board. And then see how it, it plugs in here nicely. Here's our stepper motor uh, plug in it seems. We've got four wires is how we know it's the uh, stepper motor because it's a bipolar uh, stepper motor. So I just unplug that. We can get rid of this board. And uh, I'll show you the tray in the next video. And we'll hook it up and uh, hook the sensor up from the floppy drive onto this board or onto this tray and we'll trick it into thinking it's a floppy drive instead of a CD-ROM.